Sometimes we have time to bake protein cheesecakes and let them set in the fridge for three to four hours. And other times we just wanna make a dessert in the microwave. Let me put you on this high protein one minute mug cake that clocks in at just around 200 calories. It's super easy to make, really quick and tastes delicious. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Amanda, AKA Fit Food AE. And today we're gonna to be making a high protein, low calorie chocolate mug cake with frosting. So if you're excited to see me make this recipe, please give this video a like, subscribe and share with your friends as it really helps the channel. And I post similar recipes to this twice a week. And without further ado, let's get started making this mug cake. So first thing you're gonna do is grab a mug, obviously. Make sure it's big enough, otherwise the cake is just gonna spill out of the sides. That may or may not have happened the first time I made this dessert. Then spray it with cooking spray. First ingredient is gonna be your chocolate protein powder. So I use PE Science, of course. This is a whey casein blend. You can make this recipe with just whey, it'll still work. But if you do wanna purchase PE Science, please use my discount code, FIT15. This is the chocolate truffle flavor. You can also use the frosted chocolate cupcake or any other chocolate protein that you have. Now add in some all-purpose flour. Next, your unsweetened cocoa powder. So I just use Hershey's, this is what I had on hand. Next, add in your zero calorie sweetener. So I use Lakanto monk fruit. You can use whatever you have on hand, of course, but if you do wanna purchase Lakanto, please use my discount code, FIT15. Next, add in your baking powder. Make sure to not add too much or too little. Give the dry ingredients a little mix before adding in the wet. Next ingredient is your egg whites. So I just buy these ones in a carton. They're so much easier than separating the yolk from the white. Now add in some non-fat Greek yogurt, unsweetened almond milk. Mix all those ingredients together thoroughly. Make sure to use the spoon to like scrape the sides with a mug. Otherwise there might be dry ingredients stuck to the bottom that don't get mixed in. After you're done mixing that, add in the mini chocolate chips. This is optional, or of course you can add even more than this. Set that aside, and we're gonna make the frosting before popping this into the microwave. So frosting is super easy to make. Just add a bit of non fat Greek yogurt, that same protein powder that you used before, and a bit of unsweetened cocoa powder. Then you're gonna add in around a teaspoon of cold water and then mix it together. If you need to add in a little bit more cold water, then do that. You just don't want it to be too runny. Now set that aside. And now you're gonna pop the mug cake into the microwave. So I just put it in for 30 second intervals because I wanted to just check on it and see how long it was gonna take. That's what I would recommend doing because every microwave is different. So I ended up microwaving mine for a minute and a half. I would say you can microwave it for anywhere between one minute to two minutes, depending on the power of your microwave and also the consistency that you want the cake to be. Like if you want it to be more gooey or more cakey. I got a lot of comments in my videos saying, this is raw or this is underbaked, but sometimes I just like things to be gooier and that's just my preference. And now you're done, be careful when taking it out. Spread the frosting on top. I just decided to add some sprinkles to make it look more presentable. And now you can dig in. Okay, taste test time. The combination of the frosting and the chocolate cake, absolutely delicious. Would recommend waiting for it to cool down because if I ate this right out of the microwave, it would be bad news. But yeah, this was a success. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did like this recipe, then I'm sure you like quick and easy recipes. So I'm gonna link a couple of other videos on the screen that you can watch after this. And please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe and share it with your friends as it really helps my channel and I post similar recipes to this twice a week. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.